So you have an electric vehicle or you want to get one and you live in a house or an apartment with a 100 or 150 amp main electric service panel and you don't have the capacity to add a high powered 240 volt home charger. What can you do? Well, there weren't many options until just recently, but now we have charging equipment that has a feature called intelligent power management. And what that allows you to do is install a high powered charger on a service panel where you typically couldn't because it will intelligently manage your power. What it does is if you plug in your electric vehicle and you have enough capacity to charge at the full rate, your vehicle will charge at the full rate. But then let's say you turn on your air conditioning or your electric range or whatever else you have that draws a lot of power. And now with the car charging and the appliances on, you would have typically overloaded your home's service capacity. What it will do is the system will lower the output that your car is charging at. You'll still get full power for all your home appliances like air conditioning, electric dryer, range, whatever, but it'll temporarily lower the output to your vehicle and your car will charge a little bit slower. But once you then turn off some of the other appliances, it'll go back to charging at the full rate. I'm at a follower's apartment here today. He has a 100 amp main and he has a Chevy Equinox EV. He's been living with the vehicle now for about nine months and he's been using public charging infrastructure because he doesn't have a home charger. He didn't think he'd be able to install one. But when he found out about these intelligent load managing chargers, he inquired to me about it. And I agreed to come to his house and install the Emporia Pro, which is a 48 amp electric vehicle charger. After we complete this today, he'll be charging at home on less expensive electricity where it's more convenient to charge from the Emporia Pro. I'm gonna have a full video of me installing this in his apartment building coming up on State of Charge in about a week, so look out for it.